learners! It's another great day to start learning new things with me. Learn to read, write, and express yourselves in English. I am your English teacher, Mom Jennifer, your friendly learning partner here on Depa TV. Help you learn and discover the wider world of English. Let's enter the colorful sets of stories, full of fun, games, and activities. Because here in English, learning is fun in English. Learning is fun in English. Hi, kids. How are you today? That's good to know. Because today, we will continue identifying the beginning letters of words. And believe me, if you are practicing your reading skills like my friends here in English world, this will help you a lot. I should know because my friend Sally, a smart and studious friend of mine, always tries to name things around her by recognizing their initial letters and that helps her a lot oh did you hear that we have mail we just got mail come on let's check my mailbox this is exciting this is my mailbox so cute and useful Apart from my cell phone and laptop, which I use to communicate, this mailbox also plays an important role in keeping all my letters from my friends and family. Let's see who sent me mail today. Oh, who could have sent this? This is such a lovely letter from the outside. How much more when we find out what's inside? Letter of invitation? I'm having a good feeling about this! To my dearest friend Jennifer, today is such a blessed and wonderful day for me. I am celebrating my 20th birthday today here at home with my family. We have prepared everything from good food to my party decor. Everything is almost complete, except that you are not here. That's why I am inviting you to come to celebrate with me. I have attached the map in this letter to show you the shortest way to our house but you have to be prepared because coming here will be such an adventure. You will need to face exciting quests and solve some tricky problems as you pass through the different places. I know you can do it! See ya! Love, Sally! Ah, that is so sweet of her. She never forgets to invite me to almost all of her life celebrations. Wait, let's check the map that will show us the way to get there. This will be an extraordinary adventure and it sounds fun and educational to me. However, I am not sure if I can make it there on my own. Hmm... Unless you come with me. Will you celebrate my friend Sally's birthday with me? Yes, you really are lifesavers. Let's go. I'm wearing my party clothes now. You can also change if you want to. Just a reminder kids, this celebration is only allowed here in English world because there's no threat of COVID-19 here. But you there in the real world, you are still not allowed to go outside because it's dangerous. But you don't have to be sad because you will come with me. Just stay tuned in and learn and enjoy every moment, okay? Great! I'll bring my present and we're all set. Let's go! Hmm, 
according to our map, we have to pass through the Forest of Words. Ooh, thrilling! But I know I can do it because you are with me. Hmm. Where do you think is the Forest of Words? I can see it. Can you see it? Who are you? And what are you doing here in my forest? Oh, can you hear that? Who's that? I am Queen Forestia of the Forest of Words. What are you doing here? Don't you know that you are not allowed to enter this forest? I shall punish you! Oh, Queen Forestia, I'm so sorry that we entered your forest without asking your permission. I didn't know. I am about to go to my friend's birthday celebration and according to her map, I need to pass through this forest together. Please forgive me. I just want to make her happy. It's the birthday of your friend. You are such a caring friend to her. I understand. You may walk through my forest, but please, know that this forest is mysterious and enchanted. I will do everything for my friend Sally. Besides, my students are here with me to help. Well, then here's how you can make it out of this forest. This is called the Forest of Words because there are living and non-living objects here with their incomplete names. All you have to do is give the initial vowel are consonant letters of each object to complete its name and make it a complete word. Once you have completed the word, that's the only time you can walk out of this forest. Okay, I got it, Queen Foresta. Great, let's start. Blank, I R D S. What do you think? is the initial letter of this flying creature. B, are you sure? Okay, let's try. B, I, R, D, S is for birds. Correct. Good job. We got the first one. Let's move on to the next. What is the initial letter of this big and tall thing here with leaves and branches. Blank R E E. T T R E E or tree. Right. Nice one. Oh, look at that long and scaly creature hanging on the branch of the tree. Blank N A K E. What is the missing initial letter? S, is it? Correct! S, N, A, K, E is snake. Yes! Next, you are good at this. What is the missing initial letter of these colorful and fragrant objects here? Blank. L O W E R S F Are you sure? F is correct. F L O W E R S for flowers. We are almost there. So let's hurry and guess the letter. What is the initial letter of this big and small hard objects here. Blank O C K S R R is correct. R O C K S for rocks. We did it! We were able to complete the Forest of Words challenge. Birds, tree, snake, flowers, and rocks. Well done! You have completed all the missing initial letters of the objects inside this forest. And as promised, 
I will let you pass. Thank you so much, Queen Forestia. And thanks for your help, kids. Let's go. Where do we go next? Let's check the map. After passing through the forest, we need to get across the Mystery River. Right. Oh, I think we are here. Wait, before we cross the river, let's read the warning sign first. Warning, this river is dangerous. Jump on the correct rock of letters and complete the words. Beware of crocodiles. Uh-oh, I think we really need to be extra careful this time. There are words with missing initial letters that we need to guess to complete the mystery sentences. The letters are on the rocks and we need to choose wisely because if we choose the wrong letters, we might fail to cross the river. But we can do that. At the count of three, we will jump on the correct rock. Ready? Me too! Let's read the first one. Here's the first mystery sentence. The blank O-A-T will carry you across the water. The letters on the rocks are F and B. What is the correct missing letter? B, are you sure? Then let's jump to rock B altogether. Jump! Yes! We are correct! The boat will carry us across the water. Whew, that was close. Let's have the next one. Next sentence. The blank A-T-E-R of this river is fresh and clean. The letters on the rocks are W and H. Which one shall we jump on to complete the sentence? W? Are you sure? Okay, then let's jump. At the count of three. One, two, three. Jump! We got it right! The water of this river is fresh and clean. We're moving forward. That's exciting. Let's have the third sentence. There are blank R-O-G-S and blank I-S-H-E-S living in the river. Hmm, what creatures live in the river? Which one shall we choose? Rock S or Rock F? Okay, I am jumping to Rock S. Wait, what? It's F? Are you sure? Okay, I trust you. Let's jump on rock F at the count of three. One, two, three, jump! Yes, you are right. That was close. There are frogs and fishes living in this river. Next. Blank N-S-E-C-T-S -E play around when the blank U-N is off. This one is tricky. Which rock has the correct letters? Rock I and S or rock I and P? I and S, are you sure? Then let's jump. One, two, three, jump! Yes, correct! Insects play around when the sun is up. You were smart. And here is the last one. People should not throw their blank A-R-B-A-G-E in the river. The letters on the rocks are G and D. Which one shall we choose? G, are you sure? Then let's jump in one, two, three. Correct! People should not throw their garbage in the river. Yes! We did it, kids! 
we were able to jump on the correct letters and complete the words of our mystery sentences. Let's read all the sentences correctly. Read with me. The boat will carry you across the water. Yes, we are correct. The boat will carry you across the water. Whew, that was close. Let's have the next one. The water of this river is fresh and clean. We got it right. The water of this river is fresh and clean. There are frogs and fishes living in this river. Yes, you are right. That was close. There are frogs and fishes living in this river. Insects play around when the sun is up. Woohoo! Correct! Insects play around when the sun is up. You are smart. People should not throw their garbage in the river. Good job! Correct! People should not throw their garbage in the river. Yes! So we have passed through the forest of words. We have crossed the mystery river. Where do we go next? Hmm. Let's check the map. Right. The last one is the desert of knowledge. This will be the last one before I get to finally see and greet my friend Sally. Are you still with me on this? Sweet! Then let's hurry and look for the desert of knowledge. I think we are here. This shall be easy. We just need to walk through it and meet Sally at the end. Stay where you are. You are not allowed to set foot on this desert without facing my challenge. I am Pharaoh Agatha, the eighth ruler of this desert of knowledge. My students and I are about to celebrate my friend Sally's birthday. And the last place we need to pass through according to the map is the desert of knowledge. Will you kindly allow us to walk through your desert? I truly understand. You are a great friend. However, a rule is a rule. Nobody gets out of this desert without completing the desert trial. Whatever it is, my friends and I are ready, right? Well then, here's what you should do. I will give you vowels and consonant letters. You will think of objects that begin with these letters and shout it loud and clear. Is that clear enough with you kids? We just have to think of an object that begins with the letter Pharaoh Agatha will give us. I want you to shout the words in front of your screens in a loud and clear voice, okay? We are ready. The vowel A. Think of an object that begins with A. 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 Think. What's your word? Shout it so I can hear it. A is for... Astronaut. Correct. Astronaut. Shout it loud. Astronaut. Next, the vowel E. E? What's your word? Shout it again. E is for eagle. Are you sure? Then say it loud. Eagle. One more. Eagle. Good. How about the consonant J? J? Any word for J? J. Jaguar? Yes. J is for jaguar. Let's say it loud. Say Jaguar! Jaguar! One last! Jaguar! Impressive! How about the consonant Y? Y? Do you know a word that begins with Y? Share it! Right! Y is for yo-yo! Say it with me! Yo-yo! You are smart! For the last test, 
Give me words that begin with vowel I, O, and U. This one is tricky, but I believe in you. Words beginning with the vowels I, O, and U. Igloo, ostrich, uniform. These are all correct. You amaze me with your skills in recognizing letters of words. You are all smart. And as promised, you may now walk to my desert and meet your friend. Yes! Thank you so much, Pharaoh Agatha. Did you hear that? We did it! Thank you so much for your help. Now let's go and meet Sally. We are here. Sally, my friend, happy, happy birthday. Here's my present. I hope you'll like it. I'm glad you made it. This is the happiest birthday ever. Thanks to my friends here who helped me. Come and party with us. I hope you enjoyed our adventure and our party. And I hope you learned a lot too. Once again, I am your English teacher, Mom Jennifer, your friendly learning partner here on DepEd TV. Till next time, bye!